Yo, what is up guys? This is Seekwick here and today we have the new 2019 MacBook Pro and yes, it is the i9 version. There's two versions. There's the MacBook Pro 15 inch that is an i7 6 core like kind of like last year a little faster processor and then there is the better one you know the next one in line that's the i9 8 core and uh you know this is the most cores that a macbook has ever had so sorry guys if i'm stumbling around you know i'm a little excited you know let's get right into it so what's funny about this is i got the 2018 macbook pro 15 inch about a week ago and then i heard that this came out and i was like are you serious like i literally just got the 2018 and the 2019 came out so i was like man i'm gonna take this back and just get a new one because i literally paid about the same price i think this was about 300 dollars more um but you know it's definitely worth it you know eight core i9 processor this is the most cores and most powerful macbook that they said they have come out with and no i did not add any you know more stuff to it just because you know i, I don't want to spend even more on it you know what i'm saying okay yeah let's get right into it i'm really excited space gray of course oh that looks so good now yes you might be able to tell this looks exactly like the 2018 version you know don't expect much of a difference, but uh, yeah, let me move this box out of the way. I mean, if you guys really wanna see it, you know, you got the USB-C cable, you got, you know, the instructions of how to set it up, and you got the, forget how much watts this is. I think it's 87 watt power adapter. So that's really nice. I'm gonna put this aside and um I'm, let's look at the back of the box i'm gonna try to hold this stuff it's gonna fall out yeah it just all fell out on my new macbook but here's the specs i'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit so yeah we got the 15.4 inch 2.3 gigahertz 8 core intel core i9 16 gigabytes of ddr4 memory 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, Radeon Pro 560X, which I'm pretty sure the 2018 version was a 555X, sorry if I'm wrong, and I think it was GDDR4 memory, but yeah, this is GDDR, G, G, GDDR5 memory. So yeah, this thing's looking pretty good, pretty beefy, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I didn't get a scratch on this by dropping this huge power adapter on it. I'm kind of stupid for that, but yeah, let's get this thing in the angle, in the shot. You know, this thing looks sick. This thing looks sleek. Let's open this bad boy up. So of course, as you guys probably know, I'm trying to move the camera around. Oh yeah, I forgot I was zoomed in. Duh. Here we go. We got the nice little screen protector thing, taking this off. And there we go. You can see my reflection. You can see my body. Isn't it looking good right now? Yeah, it's looking great. You know, not much difference between the 2018 version. You know, you still got the touch bar. But what is new this year is the butterfly keyboard, guys. This thing is the fourth generation butterfly. The main language. Press the return key. Man, shut up, Siri. But yeah, so the butterfly keyboard, I'm gonna start typing on this just as a sound test, you know? It honestly, it feels like it has a bump, like a more of a bump to it compared to the 2018 version. But honestly, not that much of a difference. So once I get this stuff set up, I'm gonna show you guys on the about section that it is the 2019 version and uh, just show the specs on it and do a Geekbench test and compare it to the 2018 version. So I'll get right back with that. Okay, so now that we have this thing set up, let's go to the about preferences real quick. And yes, I will be talking about the new um, butterfly keyboard. I actually did notice a difference, but let's go to about this Mac and actually see if it says 2019. So, 
Hopefully the reflection is not that bad. I'll try to move it over a little bit. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but it does say 15 inch 2019. And then it says processor is a 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i9. Memory is 16 gigabytes, 2400 megahertz DDR4. So overall, this thing's looking really good. It looks just like the 2018 MacBook. I mean, not much of a difference. Do you want to upgrade? I don't know if you want to spend the money. If you cannot return your 2018 MacBook, I don't know if it's worth spending the money, but this is a beast of a computer. This will last you a very long time. So guys, I'm going to lower the camera real quick, and uh, I'm going to show you some differences that I saw from the 2018 MacBook Pro. Okay, we're lower now. So if you guys didn't hear before, I did have the 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch before this. It was the basic model. It was the 256 gigabyte one with the i7 2.3, I think it was 2.2, I'm not sure. But something that I can tell differences is, I don't know if you can see, but on the speaker, it has this little thing here. It has this little, I don't know what you call that. It's a little circle. And I don't know if that's a subwoofer. There's like this dot and then there's these over here. I don't know what those are, I'm starting to think it's dust or something. I'm starting to freak out because that does not look good. Like, especially these top dots. Those do not look good. They're like, one's up here, one's over here. Like, that does not look good. But these are on both sides. So let me transfer the camera over here. As you can see, it is on this side too. I do not see dots over here. So I don't know what that is over here. I don't know if it's just because it's brand new or what manufacturer thing. I might have to do some research on that, but uh, yeah, that's kind of different for sure. Okay, so the keyboard, that's one of the biggest differences in this line of computers, line of MacBook Pros, is the keyboard. Something I noticed right away is that when I was typing, I realized that the key stuck out a little more than last year. At least it feels like it. Um, they feel more press pressable. They feel like on the last one, it was like, it was just a little tiny press, but this, it feels more typable. You know, you can say, hello, how's your day going? You know, like it feels better and it's definitely quieter too. Um, it's not a drastic difference, of course, but it is something that is a little noticeable and I like how it's a little more quieter. So yeah, guys, this is the i9. I'm gonna do a Geekbench real quick and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so now, I have ran the Geekbench test. So right now I'm showing the MacBook Pro 15 inch mid 2018 version. So yeah, it has a multi-core score, multi -core score of 23,000 and a single core score of 5,086. Now, um, so basically, yeah, most of it's the same, except for, you know, six cores compared to eight cores. We got the base frequency difference you know we got all this stuff that's a little different you know and all of this stuff is customizable of course but this is the mid 2018 version and you know it has a pretty good score you know multi-core score of 23,000. that's pretty good you know that's pretty fast so now let's move over to the 2018 version as you can see geekbench does not even consider this as a mid 2019 but we know it is so it's that brand new so comparing it to it, this is 29,000 multi-core score. This up here, this is 23,000. So just look at that difference. 29,000 compared to 23,000, that's 6,000 more. And single core, there's only about 500, a little over 500 difference. So multi-core score, it beats it out of the park. You know, this MacBook is insane, you know, it has the same memory, but as you can see, eight cores, you know, it's really good. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. I'm not that technical in this kind of stuff, but I just wanted to make an unboxing because this thing is a beast. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. Sorry I didn't show my face in the video. That's probably a blessing towards you guys. But um, yeah, sorry for the bad content. You know, I've been kind of lacking with this kind of stuff because I've been switching my MacBooks, so every time I get a new video editing software, 
all my presets and stuff get removed. I mean, I don't really copy and paste them over. I try to have a clean looking laptop, brand new, you know? So yeah, I'll be using this for video editing, definitely, of course. This is a great computer. If you guys want to buy it, I would definitely recommend it. I probably wouldn't upgrade from a 2018 because there's not much of a difference. I would wait for the 2020 because the 2020 version is going to have a fuller, wider, bigger display on the panel, on the display panel. And uh, I think they're gonna change some of the trackpad and stuff like that. They might even add a touchscreen, but you know, that's just rumors. You've probably seen the rumors before. And uh, some of my next videos will be some jailbreak videos for the A12 devices. You know, I, I'm a jailbreak user on my iPhone. Um, but yeah, I just wanna make this video real quick. Just in case you guys want to see an unboxing, you know, it's nothing too special, but yeah, if you're getting this, it's a great computer. You will love it. This will last for so long. You don't even realize this is i9, eight cores, eight cores. Think about that for a second. Most cores a MacBook Pro has ever had or a MacBook in general. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more stuff like this or reviews or anything like that, Say some video ideas in the comment section below. And if you leave a subscribe, I'll give you a cookie if you email me. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Leave a like, comment, you know what I'm saying. I really do appreciate you guys a lot. Um, so thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys and see ya.